Once upon a time, in a far off land known as Glasnevin, <coughs> anyone, there lived a young girl who went by the name of Jenny. But Jenny had a problem, a big problem. This big problem came in the form of Jim, Jenny's boyfriend. Jim was, to put it in a politically correct way, a simple man. He was a farmer from back home and waited for Jenny to return every weekend from the big schmuck. But Jenny was tired of taking the bus home every weekend and tired of having dates with sheep and cows for company. So Jenny did the right thing. Jenny dumped Jim. I'm breaking up with you, Jim. <laughs> I'm free, I'm single, and I just want to have some fun. Yeah, Jenny, but now you have to focus on your radio show, not your love life. You're right, Lisa. I just have one more segment to fill on my show. I suppose I could get the yoga in, but he'll drive away my audience, not entice them in. What could I do? Is there anything that we could do that could, like, join your radio show and your love life together? <gasps> Ding! I got it! Got what? Join Tinder! <gasps> no, Tinder is so superficial. Sure. Guys are only on Tinder for one thing and one thing only. Celibacy, am I right? <laughs> but you know what, Jenny? Join Tinder for the crack. Do it for your radio show. Don't get caught up in all that love shit. I suppose no one listens to my show anyway. That's true. I'll do it. I'll join Tinder. Mm, no, 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 no. No. Oh, James, age 20, loves Ga, his mum, his dog, and the sesh. Seems like all the others, but good looking, so yes. Oh, we matched! Mm. Oh. That is going straight in my basket. Imagine me and you, I do. I think about your day and night. It's only right to think about the girl you love and hold her tight, so happy together. If I should call you up, invest a dime, and you say you belong to me and ease my mind, imagine how the world could be so very fine, so happy together. Just, I don't know what it is, she's just amazing. Look at her in that photo. You're she not so alike good. though. She wears short skirts, you wear t-shirts. So? She's senior captain, and you're just one of the bleachers. I'm not one of the bleachers. Don't you say that about me. She's Look, we, we're in love. We're in love. Look at her in that picture. Is right. that anything like you? Yeah. But like, if you go for her, you're never going to have time for me anymore. But, what do you mean? before hoes, man. I'm hanging out with you now, aren't I? Bro ovaries before ovaries. Come on, you, you're being ridiculous. You're being ridiculous. Dear James's best friend, my name's Lisa. I'm currently in the same position as you are, I expect. Having recently lost your best friend to mine, well, I have a proposition for you. Okay? We need our best friend back. We need our best friend back, okay? So I'll have your position. Yeah, and I'll have him listen. Okay, perfect, okay. This needs to be done with, okay? She's gonna fall harder than a fat girl in coppers and some dodge heels. They're gonna be heartbroken, but... This is what we need. We need our best friend back. Okay, how did you do business with Okay. We barely talk anymore. You are a completely different person now. No, I'm not. What do you mean? Jenny, all you do now is go on Tinder. You don't talk to anyone. You know very well I'm only on Tinder for the radio show. Like, it doesn't actually mean anything to me. It, so, the sad James is asking. Nothing means nothing to you? You know very well that James... James is not like... He's just a guy, lad. He's nothing to me. He's absolutely nothing. He doesn't mean anything. He's just... He's just a filler for my show. You know very well. So you don't care about him at all? No, I don't! I didn't know 
the mice were up. I didn't mean everything I said. I, 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 I didn't what, know. What? You wouldn't have said all those things? Don't lie to me. I, I wouldn't. You meant every word. I wouldn't. I, I actually really, really like you. I even think I might. Don't. Don't even say it. I can't even look at you. Just, just go. Go. Dear listeners, this will be my last ever show on DCFM. It's just. It's just too hard for me to do anymore. I'm going back to Donegal where I belong. I was in love with a boy and he doesn't love me back. So I'm just going to leave because the wounds are too fresh and it's just too hard to be here anymore. So goodbye for now, DCUSM. Goodbye. <laughs> Not on my watch. So, do you know what the Wi-Fi code for the airport is? I actually don't know, but um, I'm just looking at all these beautiful planes. The airport. Yeah, the airport's great these days, isn't it? Yeah. Really cleaned up the place, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, it's not too bad. It's a, it's a, it's a nice airport. Yeah. What's your favourite airline? Uh, I'd say the Ryanair in T Terminal 2 over yeah, there. There's it's, one just here. Like, look at that. Oh, in the airport. Yeah, 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 yeah. When words fail, music speaks. <laughs> That's not the line. I said the line was, I wouldn't do that if I were you. And since when are you gay in this film? 